Hi everyone, uh, I just thought it might be helpful for me to give you a video overview for the writing assignment for week five. Uh, it's a little more complicated, um, but and so there's obviously a challenge, but I think there's an upside as well. The upside is that it can give you a, a fantastic preparation uh, for writing your essay on the Barkai for uh, the midterm. Uh, so here you have an opportunity to write um, an outline um, as though for this exact essay um, and you're going to bring together some of the skills that hopefully you've developed doing some of the earlier writing assignments and then we're going to build on those skills uh, moving forward in the second half of the course. Um, but so here you want to write um, an outline of an, an analysis of this primary source, uh, the Barkai. And so I'm just going to run through the outline here quickly just to give you a sense of uh, the expectations for this assignment, which I hope will then shape your essays. Um, and obviously, as always, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, so the first part of the paper, remember this is a three to four page assignment. So the first half, the first page should be this paragraph, uh, the paragraph that I've described as who that also incorporates your thesis. Um, in this paragraph, you want to say who the author is, um, what their background is, uh, and you want to give an explanation of the source, what the Barkai is, what its genre is, it's a play, it's a tragedy. And then you want to make your argument and the prompt for the midterm that you can uh, look at ahead of time um, is what is the role that the ancient Greeks thought that reason and religion should play in their society. And so that's the question that you want to um, you want to ask yourself as you're writing this paper and that you want to answer um, in setting out your outline here. And so your argument needs to include um, a mention of the source. It needs to answer this question. It needs to show that you're answering this question by looking at the source. So a format that I think is most effective is when you say the Barkai by Euripides shows that the Greeks thought this about the role of reason and religion in their society. Um, and of course, that this is, is your interpretation based on and rooted in the source. So that's the first part of the paper. It's one of the most complicated parts. The next part of the paper should be about two paragraphs, deals with the context of the source. Um, you're going to talk about all um, the dates and events that both uh, relate, to, um, relate to the source um, and which are mentioned in the source. What are the different place names mentioned in the source? How do they shape the source? How do they inform the argument that you are making about the source? What are the different dates and events that are going on at the time the source is written? Not necessarily included in the source, but which are shaping the message of the source. So if um, there's a big war going on between the Greeks and another part of the world or between two different Greek city-states at the time, how is that shaping the message that Euripides is giving us here? Um, so this is a really important part of the paper and hopefully you can see how the reading assignment that you did early in the course gave you some practice to prepare for this part. It's a really important part of the paper. It's a part of the paper people often gloss over and try and get through really quickly. Um, no, it's really important that you take the time to go through the source and to think about how what's going on in the source is shaping and also reflecting uh, what we know is going on in Greek history at the time. Okay, so half a page for the first part, a full page for the context that'll take you through to about a page and a half. Next part of the source, about a page again, the different themes that are emphasized in the source. Um, I mean, reason and religion are probably going to feature here, but basically you want a paragraph per theme, either two or three paragraphs. This is the part of the paper where I really want you to show me that you've read the source in detail. This is the part of the paper where you should provide a lot of quotes, a lot of summary, a lot of footnotes referencing back the text to show uh, that you're reading the source carefully. What are the themes that Euripides, what are the themes that the author of the source is emphasizing? So that will take you through two and a half, maybe to the end of your third page. Uh, and then the last part, 
the most important part, of course, also the most difficult part, why the historical significance of the source. Why is this important in the end? Um, and here's where you want to bring together the themes and the context of the source um, to make your argument. Given that we know that these themes are emphasized by Euripides, given that we know that these events are taking place in Greek society at the time, what does this tell us about the roles that this society assigns reason and religion? Um, as I say, that's challenging. That should take... Um, certainly half a page, at least half a page, maybe a full page, that'll take you right up to your four page limit. Um, and so this is the sort of argument that I want you to outline in this assignment. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, obviously, I'm always willing to answer your questions either via email or over the phone or video conference. Uh, so just let me know if you have any questions. Happy to work with you. Um, hope you enjoy uh, the assignment, hope you're enjoying the Barkai, hope you're enjoying the course, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.